Dear students, now we are going to discuss transistor, its types and comparison between BJT and FET. Transistor is a three terminal semiconductor device. It has two PN junctions, example bipolar junction transistor that is BJT. But it is not necessary to have two PN junctions for all the transistor. There is an exceptional transistor called unijunction transistor that is UJT. Okay. But in general, almost all the transistors have two PN junctions. Okay. Transistor means transfer resistor. That is, the signal is passing from a low resistance region to high resistance region. That's why it is called as transistor. Do you all understand this one? This transistor is widely used for amplification and oscillation applications. Okay. So next we are going to discuss the types of transistors. So here we can broadly classify the transistors into two types. One is bipolar junction transistor. The next one is unipolar transistor. So here bipolar. Bipolar means what? The current conduction is due to both the majority and minority carriers in the transistor. But in this unipolar, the current conduction depends only on the majority carriers. Do you all understand this one? Bipolar means it depends on majority and minority carriers. But unipolar, it depends on majority carriers only. Okay. So it is called as BJT. Here unipolar transistor is FET. That means field effect transistor. Next, BJT is further classified into NPN, PNP type. FET is classified into three types. JFET, MOSFET, MESFET. JFET means junction field effect transistor. It is further classified into N channel JFET, P channel JFET. MOSFET that is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. It is further classified into enhanced MOSFET, depletion MOSFET. Do you all understand these types? Next, comparison between BJT and FET. BJT means bipolar junction transistor. FET means field effect transistor. BJT is a bipolar. FET is a unipolar. Here the current conduction is due to both the majority and minority carriers. Hence, it is called as bipolar for FET, the current conduction is only due to the majority carriers, not the minority carriers. Hence, it is called as unipolar transistor. Okay. So, the next one is symbol of transistors. Here, BJT is represented like this. Three terminals are emitter, base, collector. Similarly, the FET is represented like this. The three terminals are source, gate and drain. Okay. So in this BJT, the input current that is the base current controls the output current that is collector current. Hence it is called as current controlled device because the input current controls the output current. But in fact, the input voltage, gate source voltage controls the output current that is drain current. Hence it is called as voltage controlled device. So, input voltage controls the output current. Okay. Here in BJT, it has low input impedance, high output impedance. Here in this FET, it has high input impedance. In this BJT, less thermal stability. Hence, it produces more thermal noise. It has more thermal stability. Hence, less thermal noise is produced. Okay. So, there are three types of configurations. One is common emitter, common base, common collector in BJT. Similarly, we can have common source, common gate and common drain configurations in this FET. Okay. Next, thermal runaway exists in BJT. There is no thermal runaway in FET. In BJT, it has positive temperature coefficient. Positive temperature means if temperature increases, the resistance value is also increases. If the resistance increases means the current value increases. Okay. So in FET, 
it has negative temperature coefficient that means temperature increases then the resistance value decreases okay so next one is bjt has less switching speed due to the minority carrier storage effects in this fed there is no minority carrier storage effects that's why it is having a higher switching speed so here the bjt has high gain bandwidth product the fed has low gain bandwidth product BJT is more sensitive to the changes in applied signal but FET is less sensitive. So it is larger in size and cheaper to manufacture but FET is smaller in size than this BJT but expensive to manufacture okay. So the last one is applications. BJT is widely used in low current applications. It can be used as an amplifier and also used in switching circuit, multi vibrator, detector circuit, demodulator circuit, timer and time delay circuits, oscillator etc. Similarly, the FET is used as a buffer amplifier used in digital circuits, mixer circuits, RF amplifier, voltage variable resistor in op amps. This FET is widely used in high current applications. Okay.